guys welcome 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 um so today i'm going to be reviewing the firma 103 contour brush so here it is it's one of our brushes that we just got in um so i went online to look up as much as i could because ipsy didn't tell me about this product because this product wasn't one that we actually got in our bag as like a product this was like my points so i used my points to get this brush okay um and when you do that i guess they just don't tell you about the product so i went online to look up this brush as much as i could and physically really couldn't find anything the only thing it told me was that it was by firma it's an angled contour brush so i was right when i thought it was that um and it anywhere ranges on eBay to like Poshmark from like $6.99 to like $12. I don't know. I got it for free, so I don't know. Um, so normally when I do my contouring and my blush, I use the same brush because um, I like the way it looks when it's being applied and blended. But I normally use a brush like this like this little wedge brush, you know? Um, so I'm super excited to have a new brush to actually try, but it is different, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it or if I'm gonna be able to contour like I do, but that's what we're here for. We are here to try it out, review the product, and, and do it. So I already have my foundation laid, I have my concealer laid, I have my translucent powder laid like I normally would do, and now I'm gonna go in with my contour. So let's get started. Um, I'm actually just gonna use a bronzer today to like contour in a way. Like I don't fully contour guys, I like bronze those areas. Does that make sense? I'm doing a really fun, cute look today. Um, I haven't posted anything on Instagram just yet about it, but it, it's gonna be there. Um, and I'm not sure if the look will go up before this video does, but there's that if you guys want to hop over and follow me there you can and you'll be able to see all the fun little looks we do sorry i'm just waiting for my blush you would think that i would have got that ready before i started but i didn't so we're going to use the firma 103 contour brush and i'm going to go in with my ofra bronzer in the shade americano let's get started okay you guys know i'm blind so glasses come off and the mirror comes like right up in my face Okay, so dabbling it into my makeup, it doesn't seem, I like to always dab when I pick up my makeup, and it's picking up, but not a lot, or at least it doesn't look like a lot, so maybe it's not going to waste product, or maybe it's just not even really going to work, um, but let's go in. Ooh, okay, no, she work. Ooh, she work good. Ooh, a little too good. Haha, <laughs> okay, so it puts product on there. Um, and it's very blendable. It blends really nicely. Ooh. Okay. For a beard. Here we go. <laughs> you know, I guess why I stick to the brush I have because I'm so nervous about actually like trying something new and then it being overwhelming. But you know, we can always take our blender if we don't like it and blend it right back out. So I'm going to go in again dabble a little here and there I'm actually gonna tap it off since since be a little much um, and then whenever I do up here I like to tap it in before I actually go in with some swipes and then we gonna we gonna swipe it out can do our cheek I typically like to do my under jaw my forehead and then I go into my cheek I found a new way of contouring that I personally like so I make an O face so I can find my jaw you know they say that you shouldn't move your face when you're doing it because then your face isn't how it's sculpted but that's just so I can find my own cheekbone because I have chubby cheeks 
So I do that, and then if you actually bring it up almost to like the temple area, like sideburn temple area, you're gonna give yourself a natural facelift because I used to just throw it back, right? Like to here. But now that I bring it up, it gives me like a natural facelift. So here I go. I also dab this one just because I don't want to make a harsh line. So I dab it and then I line it. See? Up. one side done I'm not gonna make you guys sit through two sides because we would be here all night but there's one side done let me pull my glasses so I can actually see it I actually really enjoy that it's a very soft bronze which is what I personally go for whenever I'm doing my makeup um because here's the side that's not bronze bronzed and contoured and here's the side that is so you can see the little lines, the little marks, you know. Like I said, when we first went in on here on the jawline, it was a little rough. But I made a fat streak there. But I think it looks good personally. I mean, you can always go in and make it a little darker if it's not what you're liking. Go ahead and hit that cheek once more. Throw it up. soften around my mouth because I don't want it to look like I have a mustache guys you know so there it is none some see that I feel like it's really hard to see in the camera bring it a little closer see it Ooh. none some don't mind my ugly zit so there it is. I think I like this brush. I think I'm going to definitely give her a try. Ooh, let's go in and try the blush with it too. Hang on here. Let me put you all back down. Okay. So I'm going to go in with my Ciate London Illuminating Blush in the shade Matchmaker. And let's see how it does with blush. Because like I said, I, used, I like to contour and then blush. pick up product let me tell you oh guys I'm nervous <laughs> I just make a whole lot of blush oh yes and then I always throw it back kind of in the same way that I do my contour throw it back Woo! she is working Guys, we don't have to soften that. Oof, oof, there she is. Soften her out. Girl, you doing a little too much. Ooh, okay, she cute. She cute, y'all. Look at that. Ooh. None. Work work okay okay all right guys so that is it for today's video that is going on about the firma 103 angled contour brush um we always like to rate our brushes here um and our items so one being the worst five being the best i'm pleased it picks up a good amount of product it doesn't seem to make your product dusty or waste your product it goes on the skin really easily and effortlessly um yeah it was nice in the hand like the handle is the perfect size to grip it you know like really just get up in there um i really enjoyed it so i'm gonna give it a five star if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button 
hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell so you get notifications whenever we upload another video. Make sure to head over to my Instagram and follow all of our makeup looks and I will see you next time. Bye bye!